Hey, welcome back to the CashRegisterStore.com channel. Today we're going to dive down deep into the NR510 and we're going to examine how to change your PLU or some people call them department keys on the keyboard. There is a list we're going to see of different programming features that we can assign to the different keys. So we're going to walk you through those steps. Remember, if you need any of these cash registers, you need any parts, you need supplies like paper rolls, keyboard wet covers, you lose your set of keys. Well, we've got them all available at cashregisterstore.com. So check out our website. You can also give us a call. Let's get on with the job. Okay, today we're gonna to show you how to program your department keys on the NR500 series. Simply from register mode, we're gonna turn the key down to program. First thing you're gonna see, of course, is on the right side of the screen is the arrow. It's pointing to number one, which is PLU. That's what these departments are. On all the SAM products, all your departments are considered PLUs. So, the arrow's pointing there. You simply hit the cash key. Add, you want to do number one. The arrow's pointing to number one. Add change. So, we're going to hit the cash key again. Now, we're going to do one PLU, or you could do a range of PLUs, but we're just going to do one PLU at a time here. So, we're going to do one PLU. The arrow's pointing there. Hit the cash key. We're going to simply then enter the PLU number, or we can very easily, we just press the key that we want to program. Brings us right there to our PLU. The first thing that you see, number one, is our descriptor. So we wanna type in the name. And if you look at the keyboard, and also in the program, you can see the alpha descriptors on the keys. We have an M, we have a Q, a U, a L, P, T. Over on the other side, we we have a C and A, we have a B here, we have some your other letters over here. So you can look at that, refer to the manual. Okay, so we're simply going to press the key that we want to program. Press the key. It brings us to our list of items that we can change for our PLU. The first is the descriptor. The arrow's pointing to line one, we simply hit the cache key, and that is our descriptor. Now, once we have Listed here, we can type in what we want. So let's call it food. So we're gonna type in, find our F, F, O, O, and D. We now have food. We're simply gonna hit cash. That brings us back. Our descriptor now is in. Now we want to go down to our price or halo. Our price, uh, we don't have a fixed price, but if it was a preset like a can of soda, then we could put in a price. But right now, we don't have a price because we're going to enter the price in. We can then hit the down arrow preset. It's not a preset. It's open. We're going, so we want to know there for preset. We're going to hit the arrow down. Preset override. It's not a preset, so it doesn't really matter. We're going to come down by tax rate. In a lot of places, uh, food is non-taxable. We'll just leave it non-taxable. We're going to hit we don't have tax two, uh, tax one, three, four, but is a food stamp eligible? You may be taking EBT. If you are, then we can turn on EBT. We'll hit the cash key. We'll hit the up arrow, turns it to a yes, and now our food is food stamp eligible. Next one down is a group total. If you want to have uh, many other items. If you're scanning, then your group totals really come in nice. If you're not scanning, you really don't need to do the groups. We can then go on down to group two, group three. We're not using those. And we get to the next page. We could be a negative item. We have a hash item, single item. All of these are listed in the manual and you can read what all these functions do. You have gallonage, inventory control. We can do a page down. Uh, scalable, auto scale would be a condiment. Uh, many, many features on this particular register that you can do. So you can slim down and uh, it shows you all the things that you can do with this particular key. But essentially everything is standard. So you really don't need to go beyond the uh, tax status on it. There would be one thing if you are in a state that has bottle deposits, CRVs, then you could actually do a link PLU. You could set up PLUs, say like 101 through 110 or however 
many you have, so you could link that PLU. So if your five cent bottle deposit, you set that up as PLU 105, then you could come back and link this PLU to the key. But for most circumstances, uh, you probably won't do. Once we're done with that, we can certainly hit clear, it backs us up. Now we can go to another PLU. Let's press our second PLU over here. It's PLU number eight. We're gonna click that. And let's make that a can of soda for 99 cents. So what we're simply gonna do is type in soda. So we're gonna find on our keyboard here, we got S, O, D, and A. Soda, get our cash key, now we have soda. We're gonna hit the down arrow. So now we're at the price, we wanna be a dollar 79. We'll hit the cash key, and then we're simply enter 179, and hit our cash key. Now we have a $7.79 for that. And we're gonna go down, it is a preset. Preset override, I don't want them for selling that for a different price, such as, you call it sweethearting. You have a girl cashier, she has a boyfriend comes in and he can override that and sell that can of soda for nine cents by entering nine and hitting the key. You don't want to do that. For preset override, we're gonna say no. We're gonna hit the down arrow and not allow that to happen. In a lot of states, uh, soft drinks have become taxable, even though it could be a food item. Uh, so we want tax rate, we're gonna say yes. We're gonna hit our enter, we're gonna hit our up arrow, turn it to a Y, hit our cash. Now it is taxable. We're going to continue on down our tax rates. We're not using food stamp eligible. Yes, if you were doing EBT, you could do that. And we will make it food stamp eligible. And again, simply now, we're done. We don't need to go any further. And we can hit clear. Now we can go to our final peel and we will go there and let's call this uh, beer. We're going to go B, E, E, R. Now we have beer and that's going to be an open amount. So the preset uh, is no. Preset override, uh, we want to say uh, it's not a preset, we're ending the price. We're gonna say no, it doesn't matter. Tax, beer is taxable, so we wanna say yes on taxable. And that should really take care of everything we need. All the, everything else standards are set there. So we're gonna hit clear and back out, clear, 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 back to the program mode. Then what we will do is turn up to our register and if we just try to hit the food key, hey, we have to enter in a price. We're gonna go $1.25 on food. We got soda back at doing the sweetheart deal. We go in, uh, I wanna sell that for nine cents to my boyfriend. It does not allow you to do that. So you can only press the key to give you the dollar seventy-nine. And then, of course, beer, we have to put in a price. So it's a four ninety-nine for the beer. And so we have all our descriptors, all your stuff, you have your appropriate tax, and we hit our cash tender. It's simply that simple to program the departments with descriptors on the NR500 series. And thanks again for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed the video. We hope you got that key programmed well or the keys on your keyboard. And remember, need anything, visit our website, cashregisterstore.com. Again, thanks for tuning in, and we will catch you on the next one.